sticking with us today. Now we're going to introduce uh, uh, Dr. Predep Jacob. Got that right? Close anyway. Ra uh, radiologist at Erlanger. And we're going to talk about a new radiology service that's being offered at Erlanger North, North particularly nuclear medicine, right, sir? Right. So under radiology, uh, there are multiple modalities that we use for imaging. Most people are familiar with the X-ray, CAT scan, MRI, and ultrasound. Yeah. But many people are not familiar with nuclear medicine. It's been around for about 50 years, but uh, it's not uh, as commonly used. Uh, with the others that I just mentioned, we are primarily looking at the uh, form of the body, mm -hmm. anatomy of the organs. With nuclear medicine, it's exactly the opposite. You're focusing more on the function of a particular organ. So, for example, uh, for cardiac imaging, which is something that's new at Erlanger North, mm -hmm. uh, someone comes in with chest pain, and you want to determine, first of all, is it cardiac related or something else? And if it is cardiac, what is their risk profile? What is their, how do they stratify uh, the risk of having significant coronary disease? Yeah. So nuclear medicine is a very well accepted method to do that. Uh, you do a stress test. You do an imaging uh, set before and after a stress, either a treadmill or a pharmacologic stress. And that helps to determine how uh, likely it is that a person has disease in the coronary arteries that needs to be treated. So it's a non-invasive method of stratifying risk. Um, that's just one of the many modalities that we have at uh, North and Main Campus mm -hmm. and pretty soon at East. Oh, pretty soon at East. East as well. Now, does it treat or diagnose? These are all diagnostic, or but diagnostic. there are components of nuclear medicine that are therapeutic. Uh, I'll give you an example, thyroid imaging. Yeah. The thyroid gland normally uses iodine from your diet uh, to make hormone. Uh, we can use a radioactive form of iodine uh, to study the gland and diagnose the disease. You can also use a different form of iodine to actually treat the thyroid gland. Hmm. So it's like doing surgery without having to do actual open surgery. Yeah. So Is everybody a candidate, you know, whether you're 20 years old or 70 years old? There are uh, different uh, protocols for uh, pretty much everybody, in pediatric to older age, in yeah. all of these different uh, studies that we do. Uh, what's the convenience of using Erlanger North? Well, the convenience is the location. Yeah. So obviously you don't have to drive into the main campus. Uh, we do have uh, all the other modalities, CAT scan, ultrasound, etc. But uh, nuclear medicine was just started in November. You said a few minutes ago that uh, what was it, about 50 years uh, nuclear had been, right. had been around. Is it going to continue to grow in usage, or is it doing what it's designed to do? No, it's continued to grow in different directions. Uh, the next step will be uh, for us is PET imaging and uh, more therapy. We just started uh, a lymphoma therapy uh, program mm -hmm. using uh, monoclonal antibodies. And uh, so it's been just a recent start for us, but uh, that is a new modality that's coming online. What, uh, I guess, kind of problems could a person have that, that would keep them from having that treatment? Well, the treatment is specific. Okay, and they're like for one organ or... That's right, one type of disease. Yeah. But for diagnosis, uh, these are actually encompassing all the different organs in the body. Hmm. All of them. That covers a lot of territory, it's doesn't it? Pretty much everything. How many uh, folks at, at, on Erlanger staff are in the radiology field? Well, as far as the radiologists, we have eight adult radiologists, uh, three pediatric and two interventional radiologists. And then we have a, a complete staff of uh, other uh, technologists, nurses, yeah. that complete our department. Yeah. It is, it is good to know that there, that kind of treatment is available, isn't it? I mean, for you as well as me. Yes, we're a tertiary care center, so we have all the imaging and therapeutic modalities uh, that are offered. Yeah. Uh, is, if a person who's been turned down for it, what is their alternative? You know, or, or can you, if it's mild enough, do some other treatment method? There are different ways of studying a particular disease. So this is just one of the several ways you can study uh, organs in the body. But as far as the function goes, yeah. uh, nuclear medicine is the primary modality for function of an organ. I mean, you can look at the anatomy with CT, MRI, ultrasound, or radiography. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the function of how well the organ is doing its job, you really need to yeah. do a tracer method, and that's what nuclear medicine is.
Dr. McJacob, thank you very much. We appreciate it today. Good information. Now, if you would like more info, you can go to www.erlanger.org or you can call 423 uh, 778